Well, welcome back to another segment of Hollywood Live. I'm Jack Canfield, and my next guest is Garrett Sutton. He's an internationally acclaimed attorney. He is an expert on a lot of things, and he's got three books here. One, I love these, Loopholes of Real Estate. One's called Toxic Client, Knowing and Avoiding Problem Customers, which is a great book for anyone starting out in business, so you don't get caught with that. And also, Start Your Own Corporation, why the rich own their own companies and everyone else works for them. And so you want to be one of those owners, not someone who works for them, I'm sure. So welcome. Thank you, Jack. Pleasure to be here. So tell me a little about yourself and, and what your business is exactly. Well, Jack, I grew up in the Bay Area and went to the University of California at Berkeley, then went across the Bay to San Francisco to Hastings Law School. And I enjoyed practicing law. I, I practiced in San Francisco and Washington, D.C. But I kind of got tired of all the traffic in the Bay Area. So I moved to Reno, Nevada where I'd spent all my summers as a child uh, up at Lake Tahoe. And I like to ski, I like the mountains. So I've, I practice law in Reno, Nevada. It's been a great location for me. And Nevada is one of the best states for setting up a corporation. So it's also good to be there for the corporate benefits of Nevada law. Oh, very good. So tell me how you went from being a kid who used to hang out in Lake Tahoe and ski and swim and do all that good stuff to being a corporate lawyer. Well, my father was a judge in Oakland, and uh, he always taught me the importance of law and our legal systems. And he would talk to me about how people who didn't have a corporation would lose all of their assets. So at an early age, I learned about asset protection and the importance of corporations. And so that just led for me to become a corporate attorney and to help people protect their assets. We live in a very litigious society. People get sued all the time. And you need to take these very simple steps to protect yourself. So that's how I ended up as a corporate attorney. Well, I absolutely know that. As someone who has a corporation that's been sued several times, it's been very helpful to have that protection. Um, what is the state of the industry right now that you're in this corporate law and asset protection? Well, I think most people are becoming aware that you do need asset protection. Unfortunately, they don't teach this in school. But people are now reading about these uh, types of issues. They understand that people get sued with great frequency now. And so people are setting up corporations. If you invest in real estate, they're setting up LLCs to protect themselves. But the state of the industry is more and more people are understanding this, which is good, uh, but that hasn't stopped people from suing. So we still have to take steps to protect ourselves. Now you've been very successful. How do you stay ahead of the competition in terms of being as successful as you are? Well, I'm part of Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Advisor Group, and Robert mm -hmm. Kiyosaki forces us to study all the time. We have book study groups, so I keep up based on what Robert asked me to read. I also go to many seminars. I attend a lot of webinars about asset protection and uh, corporate formation. So I try and stay ahead of the curve. As well, I've written these books and I have to keep them updated. So I'm constantly mm. looking for new information to provide for my readers uh, in my books. Yeah, laws are changing all the time. All I'm the sure. time. Yeah, amazing. Right. Now, if you were sitting here and there was a younger you when you were just starting out in your legal profession, sitting opposite you, what advice would you give the younger you? I would tell them to read Toxic Client, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the book I wrote about knowing and avoiding problem customers. A lot of the stories in the book are my stories where as a young attorney, I didn't listen to the client carefully enough and I made the mistake of taking on clients I shouldn't have. And so when you get started in business, you have to know that those toxic clients are headed your way. And so you have to be very aware of which clients to take. One of the premises of, of the book is not every client is a good client, right? We don't have to take everything that walks in the door. So I wish I'd known those lessons early, instead I learned them the hard way. Could you quickly share a criteria or two about what's a toxic client, what's a good client, what's the difference? Well, the toxic client is, is one who will waste your time, you know, they will demand services uh, when they're not really needed, uh, they certainly don't pay, a lot of them uh, are going to take advantage of you as a new business owner and see if they can avoid paying you. Mm. So uh, the, in the book we talk about how the customer is not always right. You have to know that sometimes the customer is going to ask you to do things that you shouldn't do. The customer is not always right. Uh, so those are some of the key indicators 
uh, of a toxic client. Uh, certainly the client that won't pay you for your services. Yeah, absolutely. We have um, a section in the book on how to use small claims court, how to use collection agencies, because you need to get paid. Um, you've heard of the Pareto principle sure. where 80% of your revenue comes from 20% of your clients. Well, 20% of your, 80% uh, of your problems rather, come from 20% of your clients. So you want to get rid of those 20% and work for the clients that appreciate your services and are going to pay for them. That's great. So if someone wanted to uh, get in touch with you and use your services and learn from you, find out about your books and all the things you do, how would they do that? Well, at Corporate Direct, our website, we have a lot of information. We offer a free incorporation package. So you can go to corporatedirect.com. You can also call 800-600-1760, and we'll give you a free 15-minute consultation on what you need to set up uh, an LLC or corporation and, and protect your assets. Very good, very good. Well, I wish we had more time. Unfortunately, we don't. Thank you for being my Thank guest you, today. Thank you, Jack. Okay, you stay tuned. We'll be right back after this message.